I'm live. Hi, everybody. Look at all of you trickling in. I am so excited for today's class because it's my favorite holiday season and it's Halloween. Um, so I know Charlotte is known for the glamour and the red carpet gorgeousness. But today we're doing something a little bit different. We are going to teach you how to create a spooky skull look using all Charlotte Tilbury. Um, as we're trickling in, I did want to introduce myself. My name is Rashina, and I am part of the Education and Pro team for Charlotte Tilbury based out of Los Angeles, Hollywood. That's right. So think of all those like great horror movies that come out of Hollywood and spooky and sexy, who knows what. But I'm going to be giving you guys today a Tilbury skull. Um, I would love to hear, yes, where everybody is from. Lindy, our special Lindy, always on. Thank you for joining us again from the UK. I would love to hear where everybody else is calling from. Um, again, I'm from Los Angeles and I know we have people um, joining us from all around the world. So whether you're, you know, it's the afternoon here or maybe you're tucked in bed and you just wanna uh, learn how to do a quick spooky look, I would love to hear um, where you're joining from. Hello in London and Nottingham, amazing. So we're gonna go, go ahead and get started because listen, 30 minutes is not a lot of time to create um, a really cool skull. So here's the thing is this is going to be super simple, super easy. You can recreate this at home using Charlotte Tilbury products. And I'm going to take you step by step through each little nuance of it. Um, I will say that I've already started with this kind of part of my um, spine. I kind of wanted to black out the sides using um, some of our Charlotte products just to kind of make it easier and uh, save some time. But hello, everybody. Oh, look, it's just worldwide. Connecticut, Holland, Italy. Hello. So just some uh, housekeeping rules, as I like to say. We have some products that are listed. If you are on your laptop, they will be listed to the side of me. If you are on your cell phones, they're going to be listed below. So feel free, if you are loving anything, to click it, add it to your basket, heart it, save it for later. You're going to love everything. And again, if this holiday season you don't have any costumes um, prepared, this is something you can recreate on your own at home. Super easy using some amazing Charlotte products that double as your Halloween costume, but also beautiful for every day. Uh, joining me in the chat is Adam, who is going to be our chat moderator. Um, he's going to be adding links to a lot of these products. So feel free to ask any questions and we will answer them as they arrive. So without further ado, let's get started because we have so much to do. All right, so first of all, the skull that I'm wanting to do is really glamorous. I'm kind of wanting like a sepia tone, sort of browns, not so black and white necessarily. So the very first product that I'm gonna start off with is Charlotte's bronzer. So this is her Airbrush Flawless Bronzer. These are really amazing. You can use them obviously to bronze, contour, they are infused with hyaluronic acid, so they're super hydrating, and they're also refillable. So you can actually just pop these bad boys right out. And so to create this look, I'm going to get the bronzer. And this is in the darkest shade that we have because I'm really wanting to create a lot of depth right in here for those cheekbones that show up for, look, at I already love that, um, for my spooky skeleton. So I'm wanting that sort of ombre effect. I'm not gonna make it full coverage all the way down. I'm just painting it darkest up here, faded to an ombre. And actually, I, I mean, I know that you guys are here and you're joining us and you're watching me how to create a, a skeleton, but I would love to know in the chat, what are all of you planning on being for Halloween? Or are you wanting to be a skeleton like me and you're just learning some tips? So I love that. Oh, thanks, Lindy. Isn't that cute? I kind of want to, is this going to be my regular contour for every day? It might be too harsh. <laughs> so I know in the U.S., Halloween is really big. There's a lot of trick-or-treating. There's a lot of parades, parties. I love a costume contest. And to be honest, I've always been the type of person to base my Halloween costume around my makeup because as, a, as an artist, I just feel like my strength is is artistry and makeup. And so I, I don't often want to buy a costume, you know, so I usually will body paint myself or do something cool like this skeleton. So again, for those of you who are at, at home and you're just like, man, I do not have time to go to the shop to buy an outfit. Here we go. We're just taking care of it for you. So now I'm going to add a little bit of this bronzer 
right to the temples of my forehead because you know how skeletons have that kind of indentation here in the temple. And we're going to, we're just starting off with just sort of these base shades, and then we're going to add some black to give it some depth. I had previously just lightly outlined it, and that's something that you can also do at home to kind of uh, give you a guide and, and help you chart out exactly where you're going to be adding color and pigmentation. So I also like to give myself a little bit of a soft shading because I'm going to sort of create a gap here in my nose as a skeleton has. But I like when there's a little bit of a sort of a shaded section to kind of give you more of like that blended smoky look. It just looks kind of more spooky, I feel, or maybe a little more glam. Who knows what I'm going for, but okay. So now we've got kind of like this base sort of brown. I want to add some intensity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using, Char this is what I'm going to be using for the majority of this. This is Charlotte's Super Nudes palette. And first of all, this is my favorite everyday outside of Halloween palette. You have three of these sort of cool tones and three of these warm tones. You can use them wet. You can use them dry. They're really fantastic to just give you the, like two neutral sort of looks, whether you're going for that smoky sort of black look here, which you can also create a really beautiful liner with this or you're wanting that kind of like everyday neutrals. So for the contour that I'm using, I'm using the black, but for my eyes, I'm gonna be creating my uh, smoky eye using these really pretty browns. But look at how just instantly I'm giving myself that depth. Think of it as creating layers when you're, um, you know, even when you're doing your normal contour, sometimes people will use a couple different shades just like I'm doing. But um, if you are more of like a simple, applicator then one shade should suffice so look at how that just gave me a lot of depth right away all right so after i do this i'm going to apply a little bit of a lighter base all over my face because you know skeletons skulls they're white right but i don't want to go with a full-on sort of like ghostly white face i just want to do a few shades lighter than my actual skin tone so what i'm doing right now is just finishing up this and i'll go in with a little more detail in a little bit but let's jump into the white or well i guess let's call it beige i'm going to be using charlotte's airbrush flawless foundation and let me know in the chat have you had a chance to try this amazing foundation when i was thinking about doing this skull i was like this is the only foundation that i want to use because first of all it's 16 hour wear it's 24 hours of hydration. And all I know is for Halloween, I'm gonna be out and about. I don't wanna worry about having to retouch my makeup. So I'm gonna use Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And the shade that I'm using is a two neutral. And one pump is gonna be enough for the whole entire face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start in the center. And again, I don't have to paint the fence. Like I don't ever, I don't need every single inch of my face to be this kind of light shade. And these come in um, 44 shades, by the way. So you can grab the lightest if you want to. I'm typically like a six warm. So this shade that I'm using is a two neutral. So I definitely went a little bit lighter. And the reason I started with the dark is I can go in with this light. And if I've made any mistakes, look at how I can just clean it up. Isn't that cool? So you really want to paint this everywhere. You don't have to go directly under the eyes because we're about to make like a super smoky eye using the Super Nudes palette, but you definitely want to paint this and give you that porcelain skin. Like I love that it has this slight dewy cast to it because it reminds me of, I don't know, it just kind of looks like a skull, right? And there's a few different ways too. Like some people like to do a sugar skull or, or a Dia de los Muertos skull as they call them. Um, that's with a little bit more ornate designs. For me, I'm just going to go with a traditional skull. And if we have some time, maybe, if we have a little bit of extra time, I'll do some cute designs maybe with some of our amazing liners. Okay. So we're almost done getting this base. Don't neglect your lips. How are we liking it so far? Is it coming together? Easy, right? So, so far, just a little bit of foundation, a little bit of bronzer, 
And then what's really going to be magical is Charlotte's Super Nudes palette, because really the entire look is based around that. Looking spooky. That's right, Adam. Look at how pretty this dewy foundation looks. This is going to be that Replexium, our built-in serum into this foundation. Super youth boosting. So even outside of Halloween, if you're looking for a good foundation, this is a really good option. Look at that. I might make that a little bit darker later. Okay. So moving right along, let's get back into using some products. So what I want to do to start my eyes is use Charlotte's brand new holiday, Easy Smoky Eyes to Hypnotize. This is a really amazing set. It comes with two limited edition color chameleons. And if you've never tried our color chameleons, they are game changers. These are extremely waterproof. I have literally worn them in the ocean. They do not come off. You just put it on, you blend it, and you run out the door. So for those of you who are, you know, not the best at eyeshadow or you're kind of scared to really dive in there, you can use these. Or if you have no time to really do makeup in the morning, you can pop these bad boys on and run out the door. I always like to say if I'm at a stoplight, I just quickly pop it on and and then I've got my look. Um, oh, never thought to do it like this. Yes, thank you. So what I'm going to do first for my eyes is I'm going to create a base. And the first one I'm going to use is that limited edition color chameleon. And this one is called Cosmic Gold. It's also listed on the side of me here. And all it is is simple. You just pop it on the lid. And you can use your finger or a blender brush to lightly blend up the edges. So again, I'm kind of wanting to go for that sort of ghoulish, but sexy, smoky skeleton. And I'm popping this on my lid here, back and forth. The trick is, is you want to do one eye at a time, because once this dries, it's not moving. And then if you have it dry, it's not moving, you've got all these sharp lines. So you notice that I'm only blending the edges. I'm not having to touch the whole lid. So there you go. And if you want any more tips, yes, Adam says, follow me on Instagram at Rashina Green Artistry, and you can learn some more amazing tips and tricks um, that I learned from Charlotte, who is just really the queen of makeup. Have a look at that. So I'm applying a little bit to the uh, lower lash line. Can you ever do it without your mouth open, right? That's me. Okay. So now that I've got my base on, it's already like a little spooky, right? So let's make it a little bit smokier. And I'm going to use the black color chameleon in black smolder. And we're going to build on top of this with the uh, Super Nudes palette in a second. But what I'm wanting to do is I want to kind of make it a little bit smoky in the outside. And again, blend, blend, blend before it sets. Upwards and outwards. Loving that. Instant smoke. And these are so great. They have a synthetic sapphire in them. So it makes them super creamy, luxurious. Absolutely loving these. And I feel like even if you don't have shadows and you just want to use this by itself, you could. Because we're doing a sultry sort of skeleton, there's no rules. Like it doesn't have to be super clean lines. You can make it a little smoldering. You can make it diffused. And it still works out. But like I said, the star of the show is going to be Charlotte's Super Nudes palette. So let's take a look at that. How many of you have tried our Super Nudes palette? This is, uh, it's been out for a bit now, but look at just again, how amazing. So I find that this is actually the quickest and most fun part. Um, like I said, I kind of want to dip into these warmer tones for this look. So I'm going to tuck this right into my crease. I'm just using this shade right here. And I'm going with my blender brush. And the brushes are listed to the side or below, as I mentioned. So we're tucking this in. And because we're doing a skull look, feel free to go all the way up to the brow. Because again, we want to kind of create that hole where your eye would be. Up and up and up. And we want to add a little bit to the bottom as well. Um, these shades are actually matte. They have a little bit of a slight luster to them, but it doesn't look shiny on. So that's a great question. It's so easy for night and day. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yes, with those color chameleons, they can be sharpened. 
Um, Charlotte actually sells a sharpener with a little chubby hole and a skinny one too. So I'm loving that sort of base shade. Again, windshield wiper, windshield wiper. Charlotte always likes to say windscreen wiper. Right in the crease, again, up towards the brow. And you can tell, like, even with, even if outside of Halloween, you're just doing a beautiful glam look, Charlotte's products are really great. You don't ever have to worry about fallout necessarily. It's almost like the longer you wear it, the better they look. They're, they very much are lived in in a good way. I always like to say it reminds me of like a London girl look like, you know, maybe you were out having some drinks with your friends. Maybe you fell asleep in your makeup, but by morning you still look great and fabulous. So it's really coming together. Okay. So now I'm going to go in and add a little bit of depth using the darker shade here. Same brush. Again, Charlotte is actually really big on not using a lot of tools. So we only use two brushes for our entire eye. We have our blender that I'm using. And then we have a smudger, which is this little baby here. So I'm going to use the smudger actually to create some depth and intensity on the bottom there. And I don't know about you guys, do you think I should add a little more black to this eye to kind of give it a little bit more like spooky look? Uh, you do need to get the sharpener. Yes. Okay. So we're going to dip it in the black. And you know what? We're just going to take it there. We're going to take it to Smoky Town because that's what we're doing here is a sultry, smoky skeleton. So I'm dipping it in the black. So we've used a lot of colors here in this palette. Ooh, are we liking that? Let's add a little bit to the bottom. I feel like I'm uh, on a race for the clock just to give you guys this really cool look. But you can see how easy this is. Like, just pop it on at home. You've got kids. Maybe you have to drop them off at school. Blow their minds with a little bit of a cool skeleton look. So I'm going to add a little bit of this right in here. Ooh, that looks cool, right? Just following the bridge of my nose up into my brow. All right, so we're almost done with the eye here. And we could really take it there with the smoke, but I kind of want to jump around. So I'm going to go back to the color chameleon. Again, this is the black smolder. And I'm going to create my little skeleton nose. So we want to go up a little bit on one side and maybe a little bit taller on the other side. So we've got our outline. Boom. And then you want to just color this in. And when I tell you, you are going to really appreciate that this is waterproof because you do not want to be walking around town, going to work, and this thing is just bleeding down your nose. Voila. Ooh, that looks really cool. So if you want to go in and blend this, you can. I'm going to go ahead and use my smudger brush to make sure I cover every little section of this nose. You can also really diffuse the edges like I was saying. And do you see how it kind of looks cool that I had the brown there? It gives it a little bit more dimension instead of looking so flat. I kind of have like a two-tone thing going on. It's funny because I could really tell I need a facial because I feel like it's not filling in my pores that well. <laughs> Voila. Isn't that cute? Okay. I really, really love this color chameleon. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a little bit more depth inside these shades. And you know what? They're so finger-friendly. So I'm going to go in and just kind of do this. I really just like to showcase the ease of our products. Like, would you just see how easy that was? Same as your eye, how you just want to blend it. You do the same thing up here. So I'm just going in with my pinky, whatever finger you want to use. And before it dries, voila, blend those edges, right? It's so easy, Lindy. Okay, let's do it here because we want to, I kind of want to carve this cheek out a little bit more. So I'm going to add a little bit higher. And then let's just go in. Let's go in together. This is, we're learning together here, everybody. I've not ever used these on the face, so this could have gone, you know, one of two ways. And I really like this finished result. And remember, I'm just kind of lightening up my pressure. Ooh, that looks cool, right? Good luck trying to get this off later. All right, let's do the same thing here. And don't worry if the sides don't match up. We want sisters. They don't have to necessarily be twins, although that would be nice. Again, with my finger, and I'm just kind of lightening up the... Ooh. 
We can't forget the lips, so that's gonna be next. We're almost done. And again, we're doing this whole look in less than 30 minutes, right? Okay, I'm loving this. <gasps> Thank you, so supportive, Lindy. Okay, I'm loving this, I'm loving this. Now let's do the lips. So for the lips, we want it to be, obviously the teeth are white, but let's use a little bit of this palette again. Um, I feel like I wanna give it kind of like that smoky, sort of like brown, but you know, we're gonna add the white on top of it. So let's start off with maybe this one. So I wanna just be really soft and diffused, and then we're gonna go in with details in a bit. So I think I'm like inspired right now by the Joker from Batman. <laughs> Why so serious? Let's just paint it, paint it, paint it. Perfect. Now, as a skeleton, we need our teeth, right? So I've got a couple of liners, and I feel like I want your guys' input. I want to try both. So I have two different liners here. Obviously, they're, they're well-loved. Um, the first one I'm going to do is the Exaggerized Duo Liner, and it's listed here. And what I'm going to do is create little teeth. But I feel like this could be more white and maybe a little more shiny. So we have such a, a vast array of liners. And to be honest, if you want to do like colored teeth, that could be so cool. So like you want to give yourself gold teeth, blue teeth, green teeth, whatever. Especially if you're doing maybe more of like a sugar skull. That would look super neat. I'm just doing a traditional skeleton. So I'm going to give you the white teeth. And we're almost done with our look, so hang in there. Again, all the products that we're talking about are listed to the side here. I know these teeth look kind of wild. Um, and if you want to learn any more tips, follow me on Instagram, Rashina Green Artistry. Are you liking these teeth? I feel like I'm going to definitely make them more white. My real teeth are more white than this, but we're going to make it happen. Don't worry. <laughs> Lindy, so supportive every time. We really appreciate you joining. I hope you're, you've learned amazing tips and tricks from this class as well as all of the other classes that um, you might have been attending through charlottetilbury.com. We're just here to help the public um, with our products. I don't know if you know this, but Charlotte's products are easy to use, easy to choose, and skincare infused. So we like to say our, our um, everything we offer is treat and transform. Really just giving you the best skin of your life. Ooh, are we liking this? Okay, that looks cool. I wanna make it a little more white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the other pencil. This one is the Super Nudes Duo Liner. It's got a uh, sort of a black brown on one side and then it's got a... Uh, sort of more of a shimmery one. Oh, actually, no, this is the exaggerized and the one I used with Super Nudes. But let's add this a little bit on top. Ooh, and this one has a little more shimmer. So have a look at this. Do you see how it catches the light? That's kind of cool. Ooh, are we liking this one? You know, this looks like I have a lip gloss on. Love that. That, it has come together, hasn't it? And really like, I don't know if you've ever taken painting classes, but it's all about layering. So wait until I get into just adding a little bit more details. Um, Cause really the magic is in the details with everything in life, right? Welcome to my Ted talk, everybody. <laughs> I really like how this looks. It kind of looks like teeth, right? Teeth are wet in your mouth. So it gives you kind of that vibe. Oh my gosh, look at me rushing to get this done so you guys can see how easy it is to create a 30-minute skull. Boom, boom. Ooh, that looks cool. All right, so as I said, details, details. So I'm going to get my little smudger brush, and I'm going to get my um, Super Nudes palette, and I'm going to add a little bit of detail. So I'm going to dip it. Let's dip it into this one. And right in the middle. Ooh, look at what that does. Does this look cool? 
That looks so much better, right? Are we liking this? Uh, yeah, uh, the second pencil I use, so I use two pencils. The one that's more matte is the Super Nudes Duo Liner, and the one that's more shimmer is the Exaggerize Liner. And um, the matte one has a black brown on the other side, and the shimmer one has a black on the other side. Does this look cool? I'm really excited. I feel like I better go somewhere after this. Scare some kids, maybe. Okay, so I'm just almost done with this again. Details. And then we're going to go in and just kind of refine. I feel like, do you guys think I should do my eyes a little bit darker? Are we wanting to see that? I feel like they could be smokier. There we go. Almost done. Almost done. Just rounding it out. Uh, is it black, brown, and brown, and black? Um, here, I'll show you. So the matte one, it's matte beige, which is really bra uh, great for the waterline. And then this is a matte black brown. And then for the shimmer one, we have a shimmer beige. Boop, boop, boop. And then we have a black. See the difference? That's way darker than that one. So I really love this one for every day uh, because the beige just really makes my eyes pop. You know, listen, we're a skeleton, so let's do it. I'm actually going to put some on. So I'm using the uh, Super Nudes Duo Liner. And let's put it in my waterline. We'll discover together. Ooh, do you see? Do we love this? That looks crazy. I like it. So let's make the waterline really white. I get a little cross-eyed. Don't, don't worry. There we go. And then let's also add more black because I feel like I just want this to be a little bit smokier. So again, I'm just going to go in with that color chameleon. And I'm going to make it a little bit smokier on the outside and kind of draw it upwards and outwards. Ooh, I like that. That's cute, sultry, sexy. And then we're gonna add a little bit of mascara to finish off this look. And of course, we're gonna be using Charlotte's brand new Pillow Talk Push-Up Mascara, which gives you 24 hour vertical lift. And I don't know if you've all tried it. Let me know in the chat. It's the only mascara that I can use that truly keeps my lashes up for 24 hours. Like I feel like I have to use a lash curler for everyone else. This is the only one that I do not need a lash curler for. Are we liking this? Hmm, I feel like it is. It's sort of like a sultry look, right? So I'm going to grab my Pillow Talk Push-Up Mascara. And again, what's really cool about this is it's got two flat sides to paint the product on and then two bristly sides. So the flat, uh, flat sides, you just paint it on, paint it on, paint it on. Like so. And then you use the bristle side to comb through and separate. And I didn't use a lash curler. This is me just sort of like painting it right on. And look at it, it just gives me va va boom lashes. And I feel like sexy, sexy skeleton. Thank you, Lindy. I love this because I can just keep on adding and building to it if I want to. And I could probably touch my brows if I wanted to. If I had enough, you know, hours in the day. Oops. Okay, so comb, comb, comb through, comb through. Let's do a little bit for the bottom. And again, it's okay if it's like a little messy because we're dead. <laughs> All right, so I'm loving how this is looking. I do wanna add one more thing and that's gonna be our Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is the shade number one. Again, I'm a skeleton, so I just wanna have a little bit of like a dewy shine on top just to make my cheeks pop a little bit. You know, I wanna be fabulous in the afterlife. So here I am, just kind of building onto that really gorgeous hydration from the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Boom, boom, boom. And here we go, folks. This is your sexy, sultry skeleton in 30 minutes. So again, if you are in a pinch, 
and you have to, you know, go to a Halloween party or like a work party as a skeleton, then you can whip this up using some products that are really great for every day. So first of all, what we used is, again, my favorite, our airbrush bronzer. And this comes in four different shades. So you can do it however intense that you want. I chose the darkest one in shade four. And then I use Charlotte's must have super nudes palette for day, for night, use them wet, use them dry, super gorgeous. This is actually a staple in every pro makeup artist kit because it's really universal for all skin tones, gorgeous. And then a must have for sure is the easy smoky eyes to hypnotize color chameleons. You cannot buy these separately. You can only buy them in the sets gorgeous bronze and a gorgeous black to really give you that nice kind of like smoky either today tonight look absolute must have and then the liners are to die for so we have our exaggerized duo liner we have our super nudes liner uh we've got shiny on one side matte on the other we have black on one side and a dark black brown on the other and of course to top it all off we have our pillow talk push-up mascara an absolute must have for sure if you've never tried our mascaras definitely start with this one super great for all day wear giving you the voluminous lash and then of course because i mentioned we're doing the halloween looks and we want this to stay on i'm going to set my makeup with our airbrush flawless finish setting spray duo exclusive for charlotte tilbury it is a holiday set it comes with two travel size minis of our setting spray which if you have not tried it went viral on tiktok this is going to lock your makeup on for up to 16 hours. And I love this, it's alcohol and oil free, great for sensitive skin. And this makeup is not going anywhere. And just to top this off, because I am a costume queen, let's add a little bit of this moment. Do we love this, everybody? Sound off in the chat. Are we loving it, Karen? Thank you. Lindy, you're always a pleasure. Here's your fabulous, sultry, smoky skeleton look brought to you by Charlotte Tilbury, all Charlotte Tilbury products available on charlottetilbury.com. Again, please shop the links on the side or below you. Follow me on Instagram at Rashina Green Artistry, and I would love to follow you back. Let's be friends and I'll teach you more tips and tricks and have a happy Halloween season. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you.